Okay, I have literally no idea how to do this, so bear with me if you're watching. Okay, can anybody see me? Please let me know, or can you hear me? I, 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 I don't know what I'm doing, so. Okay, if anybody can see or hear me, please let me know in the chat. I think that's how this works. Yay, okay, great, oh, awesome. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, so there's nine people here, apparently. Yay! Okay, so if you guys have any questions related to jaw surgery or whatever, um, I'd be happy to answer them now because I get a lot of messages on Instagram and email and stuff that I tend to ramble on about. And, and, and a lot of paragraphs all at once so I figured maybe answering it like this over a video might be a little bit easier um, so just let me know if you have any questions um, it can be related to prepping for jaw surgery um, my experience or recovery or anything like that what was the first thing you ate your first day after your six weeks of liquid diet um, Oh my God, I don't remember for sure. I'm pretty sure like pizza was one of the first things. And I know it was a real, I think this didn't come immediately after the six weeks, but I made a really big deal about eating an apple for the first time, as I'm sure most of you guys can relate to. Eating it, like biting into an apple is kind of a struggle with an underbite and especially with braces. So yeah, when I finally had my new bite, biting into an apple was kind of a big deal. Um, my ortho recommended a surgeon that is considered to be one of the best, but he now has a few lawsuits against him. They're older women, which comes with more risk, but all the younger people I talk to are really happy with their results, and now I'm not sure what to do. Oh, okay. Um, well, I mean, have you met with this surgeon in person yourself? Um, because... I think more than anything, the most important thing is that you feel comfortable with them um, because other people might feel really comfortable with them, but there might be something about them that just kind of isn't what you like. So I would recommend meeting with them in person first before you make any decision whether to stick with them or not. And, you know, bring notes with you and ask questions and don't be afraid. question is too stupid to ask a surgeon because this is a really important decision um yeah uh were you ever scared about surgery in general before the surgery i need to get jaw surgery but i'm too scared to go under anesthesia and surgery in general yes um i was absolutely terrified i'm pretty sure all of us who get the surgery are scared on some level i mean just the idea of like having them cut open your mouth and you know, all the crazy things that they do with the metal and everything. It's very intimidating. And there was definitely moments where I was like, wait, what am I doing? Like, and now, even now there's like points where I look back and I'm like, I cannot believe that I did that. And can I help you? <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah. And just, I still can't believe that I did it. So I was definitely terrified. Um, but through a lot of meditation and just kind of the mental preparation that I talk about a lot on my channel, I was able to overcome that fear and realize that the positive outcome that I would get because of the surgery was more valuable than any of the risks or um, the possible dangers that I was making up in my head. Because honestly, the surgery is very safe. And um, everything that you're worried about 
is is something that you're just making up in your head and you need to understand that put trust in your surgeons and put trust in the studies that have been done um and that everything will be okay oh my goodness oh, there's a lot of questions coming in um uh Oh, and about the anesthesia thing, I am still kind of freaked out by anesthesia, but at the same time, I kind of love it. Um, so recently I had to go and more worked on on this side of my jaw, and they had to put me under for it. And in a weird way, I was kind of looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, that's just a weird me thing. Um, are you still numb? If not, how long did you actually have left before? Okay, um, so I am, I like to tell people that I'm not numb anymore, when in reality, top secret for live viewers only, I actually am a little bit numb still. I just don't bother to say it in most of my videos or to people because I don't feel like it's that big of a deal, but I am still numb right here. Like once in a while, I feel like I have some feeling, but for the most part, I'm really numb. So like if I were to bite down on like, say my phone, like I can barely feel that. Um, and I think that I'm never gonna get feeling back there. Okay, okay. <laughs> my mom keeps talking to me, sorry. Um, yeah, so it's just something that I've accepted that it is always going to be numb, and that's fine. It doesn't really affect me at all. Um, other than that, I have full feeling back. I had really bad numbness right here whenever I first got the surgery done, and it's all um, back. Everything is good. I feel like my muscle function is excellent. Um, once in a while, I kind of feel like my smile is a little bit crooked, but... I'll get over it, you know? It's just something that I have to deal with and I'm sure nobody really notices except for me. Um, so yeah, um, how long before the numbness went away? Um, it's... I don't recall exactly. I know I documented this all in my videos, but um, I want to say, I know I started getting my feeling back really soon because of the jade roller and just because I was doing a lot of exercises for my face early on. Um, I think I started getting some feeling back around like the two to three week mark. And then I was still pretty numb until like maybe a month or two. And probably around four months, I'd say I was solidly like no numbness. Once in a while, I will get like pins and needles in my upper lip, but I still have feeling there. So um, I guess it's just my nerves still kind of healing. <clears throat> um, your daughter's gonna have double jaw surgery too. <laughs> um, okay, so vomiting after surgery. This is something that I get asked all the time. And it's, it's something that I like to talk a lot about because I feel like I understand why people I've been scared about vomiting during surgery or after surgery. So I did vomit. Um, I threw up a lot of blood. And it says that my connection is unstable. Mm, I don't know if I'm disconnected or not. Oh, well, I'm just going to keep talking. So, um, yeah, I threw up a lot of blood. And it's just blood that you swallow during surgery. It was kind of like this really deep red, kind of blackish tinge. It was not pleasant. It was gross. It tasted really gross. It smelled gross. Um, but I was prepared for that. So my, I told my mom ahead of time because my mom was the person who was like on it throughout my surgery. And she made sure that the nurses in my recovery suite had vomit bags ready for me as soon as I got in. But I felt a lot... Um, I felt much more secure knowing that I had the bags prepared. And even though it was going to happen to me, um, I was less scared of it. And yeah, it's really not as bad as you think. It's gross, um, but you don't have to worry about choking on it or anything like that. Okay, go, can you please go? My mom keeps trying to put in her commentary on these answers. Um, <laughs> But what was I saying? Can you stop interrupting me so I can not lose my train of thought? 
Um, yeah, so vo uh, vomiting, don't worry about choking on it. You're not going to choke on it. What I always tell everybody is to, if you, you're going to feel it coming, it's just, it's not going to just happen. Um, you'll start to feel it Have the bag and just tilt your head straight down and just kind of let it come out. You don't have to force it um, and just let it happen. Um, the more relaxed you are, the less like it'll go places. So just let it come out and it will find its way through your wires. Trust me, because I wasn't able to open my mouth at all. And it still all came out. It's kind of hard to like rinse out your mouth afterwards, but that's the worst of it. Um, okay. I saw my surgeon today and I'm getting my races tomorrow. Yay. Congrats. Um, advice on the first day of braces. Ooh, um, <laughs> so prepare yourself for pain. I definitely recommend taking some kind of like Advil or painkiller before you go to your appointment, like 20 minutes before. Going to fill your mouth, and your like skin around your mouth might get cut up in the first week or so because of your brackets. Um, so I recommend asking your orthodontist for wax at your appointment. And the moment you feel any brackets rubbing or anything, go ahead and warm up some wax in your hands just a little bit, and put it over the bracket. Dry the bracket first with like a paper towel, or let it air dry, like you know, and um, put wax on it as soon as you can. The last thing you want to do is cut open your skin. Um, but other than that, yeah, the pain is super temporary. It'll last for a few days. It'll be hard to eat. So maybe um, have some soups or some soft foods in mind that you can um, have those first few days. Um, um, am I still numb at all? I am not really numb. I'm just numb. All right. Okay. Um, love my channel. Thank you. Um, you're gonna have jaw surgery in two weeks. That's so exciting. Oh my gosh. Um, do you have any tips? Is there anything you would do differently? So actually, I earlier I just filmed a video on um like things I wish I knew before surgery. Um, but overall, there's really nothing that I would say that I regret or that I wish I could go back and do differently. I feel like I had a very positive experience. Um, and that was mostly due to the preparation. Any tips? Um, I mean, I could sit here and talk all day about tips. Um, just watch my videos if you like as much as you can. Um, and yeah, I think it really just comes down to when you're two weeks prior to surgery, I think it just comes down to the mental state. Um, make sure that you are just taking time for yourself. And, and just relax and enjoy this time that you have still eating. I would definitely recommend pigging out on your favorite foods. <laughs> um, how did your friends and family react to your new smile? Such like, um, so that was interesting. It was kind of weird to see how certain people would react to um, my physical changes. So like, I think the people who are closer to me and who know me best, like my mother, um, my best friend and people like that would say that there really wasn't that much of a difference physically. And I have a theory that it's because they see me more for my personality. Um, and then people who don't really know me that well, like coworkers or people like that would say that there was a dramatic change and that they didn't recognize so it really varied but overall I think everybody was very positive and the moment I saw that somebody was kind of not going to give me a positive response I just cut that off like don't let that happen um, because the last thing you need is people criticizing you or questioning you for your decision because it was your decision um, hi I've recently undergone double jaw surgery uh, I am 18 days post-op. I was wondering how long it took you to eat more solid food. So I stayed on a liquid diet for a month. Correct me if I'm wrong on this. <laughs> Got people who watch my videos. Um, I think I stayed for like a month on liquids and like mashed potato-y type of things. 
and I moved into like the noodle realm and foods like that. I'm trying to think of other examples of foods that I have after like uh, three to four weeks. Yeah, it just, um, if you're 18 days, um, I think soon you'll be able to start like moving into more solid foods, but don't rush it at all. Don't go out and eat like a, bur a burger or a pizza or anything crazy. Um, yeah, but you'll have your time soon. I'm currently almost 30 weeks at and after my double dose surgery. Well, congratulations. Um, I had my wires taken out yesterday. How did you do with the jaw moving again and the swelling? Um, so like I was talking about earlier with, um, or was I talking about this and this? I don't remember. Um, but after I had my wires slash my splint removed, if you guys go and look at my two week post-op video, you'll see how like I was talking very strange. And it's because my muscles were not for the face and they took a lot of adjusting so I I would literally talk like this you know like it was weird um and it, it was strange because in that moment I thought that I was never going to be able to talk normally again because I was like this is my new face I look like I have Botox in my face all the time um but everything loosened up and everything adjusted um yeah so just the jaw moving thing is just something everybody everybody's different with how your jaw adjusts to the change i know a lot of people have said because i've noted before that my jaw liked to like jut forward it would try to like do that sometimes especially in my sleep it would be very painful and just like uncomfortable my brain would like set off alarms and it was because it was trying to go back to an underbite and uh, some people have said, like, they've thanked me for mentioning that because a lot of people um, experience um, the swelling, you know, it's case by case basis. I recommend using a jade roller even before surgery and just doing everything that you can to reduce the swelling and not necessarily even reduce, but just to help yourself feel more comfortable. I did like facial massages. So get a nice face oil or something that you know won't like irritate your skin. And I just went around like here and down through here and especially your neck because your neck, if you drain out from here, that'll help your swelling to go down. Um, okay, how long have I been on here? 18 minutes, oh my goodness. I don't wanna stand here too long, you guys, but ah, I wanna answer all your questions, okay. Um, how long did your surgery take? Um, I believe it took like four and a half hours total. And that's total under anesthesia. Oh, I'm sorry that the video keeps getting frozen. I think my internet is like terrible. So next time I do a live stream, I will figure out how to, here, let me say something. <clears throat> You're 19 days post op. Congratulations. Um, how much did the surgery change your speech? Because I'm a singer and I'm scared it will dramatically change my voice. Also, I love your videos. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Um, so, actually, I just filmed a video on the things that I wish I knew before surgery, and I talk a lot about my speech and my singing. I got that whenever I get around to posting it and editing it, but pretty much um, I'd say that surgery helped my speech a lot. Looking back, I didn't realize how I was um, pronouncing words and that you could really hear my underbite. If you look back at my videos before surgery, um, you can like see and hear my underbite. So that completely went away. I pronounce words a lot more clearly now, but I'm also noticing that I'm still getting used to speaking with this um, mouth, even, what am I, like a year and a half, something like that, year and a half post-op. So, you know, it takes a lot of patience, but it's worth it. Um, also, on, on terms of being a singer and it affecting your voice, 
it probably will help your voice a lot because I noticed that my resonance and my vibrato improved dramatically, and I just feel like I have a lot more control over my voice and I feel like I hold my voice in a uh, more healthy way for my vocal cords. Now I'm not straining as much. I'm seven months post-op surgery and I still notice some swelling in my right cheek area. How long did it take for your swelling to go down? Um, like I said before, it took uh, like it took a couple months. Um, seven months is you should definitely by seven months, I'd say see most of your swelling go down. But don't be alarmed if you still have some patches here and there, because looking back um, on my pictures from like six, seven months, I had some swelling then and I don't I didn't even notice. Um, I thought I was pretty much fully recuperated. And no, honestly, I wasn't. And I don't even think that I'm still um, fully recuperated. How long until your stitches completely dissolved? They actually took a while. They took longer than I expected. It was kind of, some of them dissolved quicker. I'd say the ones on the side dissolved the quickest. And the ones that were connecting right here took quite a while. I think, I want to say that they took like a month and a half at least to dissolve, which I think that's because that's a very delicate area. So it was probably more heavy duty stitches. That's my guess. My surgery date is February 25th. Oh my gosh. Good luck. Um, I'm almost a month up, a month post-op, and one of the stitches that were on the side of my face left an indent. Others oh, healed fine. I was told it wasn't worrisome or scar tissue. Did you experience this? Um so no, I didn't ex I didn't have like an indent or anything like that. But I definitely would say that I had uh, scar tissue, nothing that I would say was an indent. It was more of a, a bump, if anything, all around in here. So I don't think you have anything to worry about. I think my scar tissue is still healing. So just give it time and it should go away. Um, I had lower jaw surgery and genioplasty like a week ago, and I'm still not able to close my mouth or put my lips together. Did that happen to you? Absolutely. Yes. Don't worry at all. Um, the whole function of your mouth, like being able to even smile might not happen to you for a few weeks. So just be patient with it. And don't stress about it because it may seem like you're going to be stuck like that forever, but I promise you, you won't. Hello, I've been given a choice to have surgery or just not. I want to know after all this time, are you happy with those? Results? Yes, um, absolutely. I would pain and everything that went into it. I, I don't regret a single thing. It was easily the best decision I probably will ever make for me for my life. And I think a lot of us who have gotten the surgery can agree with that. <clears throat> um, did your nose? Okay, I'm going to answer these next two questions. And then I'm going to get off because I've already been on here for 23 minutes. Um, did your nose shape change after surgery? Yes. I've talked about this a little bit before, but my nose has always kind of looks like this. Like it's wider. I'm half Asian, half Hispanic. So it's, it definitely is more of an ethnic nose, but it used the, the tip used to come down like just a little bit like that, especially whenever I smiled, but now it's just kind of like, boop, like, Boop. I don't know. I don't know why I have to say that whatever I'm talking about my nose, but yeah, my nose shape changed. I was really worried about it tilting up too much because I saw that some people had that issue, but I mean, it definitely went up a little bit more, but it's nothing that I would say is a bad result. I'm three months post-op today. My teeth are so numb. Did you experience that at all? Yes, girl. Girl, I am like a year and a half post-op and my top teeth are still numb, so <laughs> don't worry. Um, if it's bothering you, like to the point of where you feel like you can't eat or something, then talk to your surgeon. But other than that, I'm not noticing that it's really affecting me that much. So, and you'll probably get um, your feeling back. Like I'm starting to get feeling right here, so. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <laughs> There's so many comments and I wanna answer them all. Um, I've always had trouble breathing through my nose. Will it get better? Absolutely. I can almost guarantee. I mean, I'm no doctor, but I 
community that I do a lot of um, in the jaw surgery community and myself included, um, your breathing through your nose gets so much better. You just found my channel like two hours ago. Hi. Um, do you think that if the stronger um yes i think if the painkillers in the in the hospital that especially that first night i can go back to that first night in my head so easily it was terrible and i think if i hadn't had a bad reaction to them and i was able to be numb a little bit more it would have definitely been a lot better but Eh, at the same time, I would do it again if I had to. Oh, thank you. You guys are so nice. Oh, you guys are so nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick Q&A thing. I'd like to keep doing this like maybe once a week if you guys are down for that um, because I really want to answer all of your questions and I want to help as many people as I can. So, yeah. Um, try to turn on my notifications if you know. I don't know how to do that. I'm not a YouTuber. But if you want, you can turn on my um YouTube notifications and maybe you'll be notified next time before I go live. I don't know how it works, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, oh, you guys are so nice. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and good luck on your journey wherever you are. Bye. Ah!